guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back, welcome back. A win is a win. Winning is all that matters. No one remembers the loser. Only the winner is remembered. There are winners, and then there's everyone else. You don't believe me? Uh, who won the 100-meter uh, sprint in the 2016 Olympics in Rio? Who, was the, who won the gold medal? Everyone knows, right? Usain Bolt won the gold medal. You should know that. He was the winner. Who came in third? Nobody knows that. It was a Canadian guy. Andre uh, something. Some. He sucked. He came in third. No one remembers who comes in third. Uh, in that uh, fight where Muhammad Ali knocked down that guy. You know the picture where he's standing over him? Uh, the, the knockout punch and the guys on the on the mat. Who's that guy on the mat? Nobody knows. He lost. A win is a win. Uh, that's all. That's imp what am I trying to say? Uh, uh, no one remembers who came second. Uh, who had the second most, uh, the second highest grades when you graduated from high school? You know, the one kid went up there and won the. They give the award for the highest grades. What's that called? The smartest kid in the school award. Uh, who's the second smartest? No one knows. I'm not making any sense here. Let's forget about it. This is all about winning. This is about showing games where uh, players win. And sometimes uh, you win because you carry the game. And other times you win because someone else carries for you. When it's a team... A win is a win. If a team comes in first and wins, if there's a hockey team that wins the gold medal, there's 26 people that get gold medals. Two of them that never step foot on the ice and five or six of them that suck. And they still, they won. They're winners. There's other guys on other teams that played a lot better, but their team lost. They are losers. Losers. Winning is better than losing. Uh, is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And getting into the game here, J.K. Teal from the PMS clan. Shout out to you guys! Is driving his Skoda T50, and he is stock. He doesn't have the engine. He doesn't. He doesn't have. He doesn't even have the gun, the auto loader. He's got the shitty little gun that just shoots once, uh, instead of the three round auto loader. And you know he, he's just driving it for the first time and he doesn't know what to do and he, he can't carry the game he's got a stock tank and he's not is he top tier i i don't think so is he no he's not top tier so but he still wants to win and that's why we're showing this game because he's going to try his best and look at that he he tracked bless his little heart there he he tracked this guy he's not even aiming really well he's missing but he wants to be on the winning team because he knows that winning is better than losing. So he's going to try and help. And he's a little tentative. You know, he's not, uh, he's not going to carry. He's kind of hanging around the back. And, uh, well, now he's moving up because he's noticing that his team has made headway. And he did not want to move up there. He doesn't have a, a Russian medium tank with uh, armor. This tank doesn't really have much armor. And I don't even, he may even have the stock turret for all I know. Look how slow he is. He's obviously not upgraded. He's just taking this tank out for the first couple of times, getting used to it, trying to help out. And he's going to help his team win. And he is going to be on the winning team. And a win is a win. That's all that's important. So here he goes. He's kind of just provided support fire so far. And now he's moving up. And I like to show these games. I don't always have to show the... There's going to be guys on his team that did better than him. And look, now he's moving up. He's taking a hit. And he's actually... He rammed this guy. And he doesn't have the auto loader. And he's sitting in front of the guy's gun. And he's going, Hey, someone help. Teammates, please shoot him. And he's finally... Go well, let's face it. This enemy's a Muppet. And that's why he's a loser. He's on the losing team. You, do, are you starting to see the difference here? That was a loser. No one will remember him. Well, maybe if you look up his stats afterwards. But this video is not about him. It's about the winning team. And the old J.K. Teal here is showing us how to contribute and how to win. I like to show the little guy. That's what I was saying. I don't always show the guy who carried or the Unicom. There's players that did uh, 
better than him, but this is the no bullshit channel where you get to just watch regular guys play. And uh, for a guy driving a stock tank, playing a little bit tentatively, he's, it's a runaway victory, and you'll see in the post-game stats that he actually helped out. He, he doesn't carry, he doesn't have the greatest game, but he's, you know, he's mucking it up. Y you need six or seven guys like this on your team, right? And uh, you need then the few guys that carry the, the team to victory. And it looks like they're just going to roll away with it here. Look at that. Now he can maybe take one more shot or roll forward. Oh, he's going to get a couple more shots here. And he's not spamming APCR. He's just taking regular shots. No! Oh! oh, wait a minute. He's been shot up the ass by his teammate. One of his teammates has shot him up the ass and killed him. It's Zemek44 from the Heat Clan driving the Object 430U. He's killed him and, and he asked him, what, what the, what's going on? He's asking for an explanation. It was an easy victory. And Zemek44 replies and explains it all. Mongol is the reason that he shot him up the ass and killed him. Uh, but a win is a win. And he is on the winning team and will always be remembered as one of the winners. And we can see in the post-game stats here that he did over 2,000 damage and 500 assists. And old Zemek44 from the Heat clan here, uh, well, he, he did a little bit better. Uh, and they won! They will be remembered as winners. All right, the next clip here is the BK. The BK! From the DSI clan. Shut up to you guys! is driving his Ramatal Panzerwagen. And he's fast, and he spawned on the north side, and he realizes that when you have fast tanks on your team and you spawn on the north side, you can easily win the hill and get on the hill before the south spawners have even a chance of leaving their spawn, because this map is fair and balanced. And the team that spawns on the north will always, always win the hill and have the higher ground. He knows that. And he knows that he has a good chance of being on the winning team in this game. He will be remembered as a winner at the end of this game if he doesn't screw it up. <laughs> and he's gotten up here and they have already killed one tank. The stragglers there that tried to come up the hill because they think, well, you know, what Klaus did tell me once, always take the hill. And uh, at that time I didn't realize that if you spawn on the south side uh, and you go to take the hill, if the enemy team... Uh, knows what they're doing and and they go to the hill as well you will die miserably because the south side has no chance but anyways that's besides the point let's watch the game here old uh, what's his name uh, the BK I like that name the BK gotta love the BK you like the BK I love the BK and he's in this fast tank and he's on the hill well what do you do now go win the game don't just sit here that's it that's it. Look at that. Let me ask you guys a question. Who has won the most gold medals for men in the past three Olympics combined? Swimming. Who has won the most gold medals? The male athlete that's won the most gold medals in the Olympics, past three Olympics. Everyone knows the right answer, right? Michael Phelps. Everyone knows that. Let me ask you another question. Who has won the most bronze medals in the Olympics, the last three Olympics combined? Nobody knows and no one gives a flying fuck. Because he's not the winner. Winning is all that's important. Are you starting to understand what this is all about? Okay, let's concentrate here. The BK is up on the hill. And now he is able to do what you can do when you're up on the hill. Which is shoot down at the Muppets that did not get up on the hill. Do you see that? Well, he didn't really shoot. But he wanted to shoot. He just didn't pull the trigger. And these Muppets that are down there at the bottom uh, think they're safe. But they're not. And they will never win this game now because they have the low ground. And having the low ground is not something that really helps you win when you're talking about war. <laughs> if you ever read that book, The Art of War, or any other book, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the Way of the War and the, the War of the Worlds, and all the books that are ever written about the subject, uh, you will realize that taking the high ground is kind of, you know, important. And uh, you can see that that Action X just took a big hit there, poking the same spot that the BK was poking. He probably wondered, why did BK leave here? He was poking here, he left, uh, let me go try, and he got hit in the face. That's why. <laughs> what is that guy's name? Uh, Misiek, 520 in the Centurion Action X. 
Well, you tried. Let, let, watch BK. He'll show you how to do it. You just got to poke over and shoot and then pull back. Oh, wait a minute. He's pushing him off the cliff. He, he's pushed him off the cliff and, and, and BK. The BK's dead. The BK is no more. The BK has been TK'd. Well, no, he has not been TK'd, but the, the Centurion is blue. He has turned blue. Uh, I guess he turned blue simply by touching uh, the BK's ass and probably doing, I don't know, 10 or 15 HP of damage. That was enough to make him turn blue, uh, which means he is a, probably a perpetual butt toucher that does that a lot, you know, uh, rubs up there against uh, enemy tanks and does a little bit of team damage is what I'm trying to say. Uh, whether it's from touching them from behind or shooting them or however, whatever kind of fetish uh, he's involved in, I do not know and it's none of my business. Uh, but he has turned blue immediately, which means he does have some sort of fetish. Uh, but alas, this looks like a victory and uh, the, uh, the E100 has managed to make it up on the hill as well because he spawned on the north side and you spawn on the north side, you're going to win. And uh, let's just check the post-game stats here because it's going to be an easy victory. And uh, look at this. The BK did pretty good, eh? Over 2,000 uh, damage. But look at the Centurion Action X, the Unicom here. Uh, he only did 14 HP of team damage and turned blue. But luckily, he did 3,800 damage. There he is, helping carry this team to victory. And he will always be remembered as a winner because he is on the winning team. And a win is a win, no matter what. All those other guys that are dead on the other team that lost, no one gives a fuck about them. They are losers and they're back in the garage. You're looking at the winners right here. There he is. The winners! A win is a win.